Hello, I'm Ashley from Yoga for That and founder of the Live Better program. I'm here today talking about the importance and the value in small wins. So recently, I've just been struggling motivation-wise, confidence-wise, in mostly in my business because I have these big goals and I do finally feel like I have a plan of action for that goal. But because I haven't really been seeing any progress towards that goal, I haven't gotten any small wins on the way to that bigger goal. I just have kind of lost all motivation and confidence in continuing to work towards that goal. I've also been dealing with a lot of emotions in my personal life and sometimes those just swirl up out of, not really out of nowhere, but they can really kind of converge at the most unopportune time and just really take over any motivation or confidence that I have towards anything. And when I was looking into my business and all the goals that I have personally and professionally, I just kind of felt like I was spinning my wheels in a big pile of mud. I could see what I was working towards. I can see the goals that I have and I just really wasn't getting any closer to them. And so I was just losing all motivation and all confidence in even trying to continue working towards those goals. They just seemed so abstract and unreachable. And so my husband and I took a couple hikes this weekend and he was so great and He knows me so well, which is so helpful, and he was really able to kind of pinpoint some things that I might be able to try or to work on to build that confidence back up, and he really kind of stressed to me that I haven't had any small wins recently. Um, Obviously, we're all kind of a little bit in semi-lockdown still. Um, I'm not teaching yoga. I just don't feel safe doing that in the studios yet, even though the studios are starting to open up. And so everything is at home or the two days that I'm in my office for work. And so I wasn't really doing anything. I didn't have, you know, my normal support system. Um, Our lives are just kind of everyone is in the same boat. And I really had to kind of think, well, what can I do if I can't really live my life the way I normally would in terms of getting a small win? And if you know me or have heard anything from me before, you know my general disdain for cooking um, and that in a heartbeat, I would hire someone to do that for me. Um, But I decided that's something that is can be pretty simple. It doesn't have to be extravagant. Just something that you have to eat every day. And so my goal and something that I want to have as a small win is cooking a new meal every week. I think this is something that could really kind of boost my confidence in terms that it's pretty short term. You pick a recipe, you cook it, and it's either good or it's not. So there's not really a a long time lapse in between Um, taking the action and the final result and I'm thinking this might give me a little bit of a confidence booster in terms of just completing something and kind of seeing that little project all the way till the end so it's very simple it's picking a recipe getting the ingredients and making it and then eating it so it's it's a pretty simple timeline pretty short timeline so I'm not waiting on the results really um not like my business where, you know, my results might not come in for months or even years depending on my long-term goals. And so just having this simple small goal or task that I can consider a small win, um, I think and I'm hoping will boost my confidence and help me kind of continue working towards what I want to be working towards. And I honestly think it's already helped. I haven't even cooked a new recipe yet. Um, but I remembered how much I love making my mala bracelets and my mala necklaces. And so I went online yesterday and ordered a ton of more beads so I can make more malas. Um, obviously I do want to sell them, but I do actually just love making them and I love gifting them to people for birthdays and weddings and all those kind of things that I make a very individual, um, mala for people with, 
um, kind of the intention behind it for them of something I want for them in their life and then of course they can put their own intention on it as well so I'm really looking forward to getting <laughs> that delivery in the next couple of days so I can start working on those again so it's really important just to have those things in your life that you really just find joy in. It doesn't even have to be that it's for money or for achievement or even to better your life in a particular way, but just to find those things that bring you joy so that you can have the confidence in the other areas of your life where you might feel a little bit lacking some self-confidence or some motivation. In my Live Better program, we talk a lot about goal setting and goal planning. And in terms of goal planning and achieving goals, we do touch on goal posts. And these can also be considered small wins as well. They're a little bit more tailored towards what you're working towards. So a goal post in um, a small win goal post would be something like... um, I want to sell my melas, so a goal post would be buying the beads, okay? Um, so it's something that you can kind of tick off your to-do list. You've done it. It's an action you took. It's a completed action that now has put me closer towards my ultimate goal of selling melas. The next goal post might be making a mala, okay? Goal post number two. So you can kind of see how goal posts um, in terms of being small wins are you planned it out. I mean, it's not a lot of planning, but it's a little bit of planning. So you planned it out, you took the action and it's complete. So that would be a small win. So when you're planning big goals in your life or in your business or in anything you're doing, it's really important again to have those small wins and you can put a safety net in place that you'll meet those small wins. So by creating those goal posts towards your bigger goals, you'll have those moments of I accomplished something and you can celebrate that. That boosts your confidence and that boosts your motivation to keep working towards your goals. So when choosing something that you like to do or like to complete for a small win, something to celebrate, something to boost your confidence, think of something that you would like to do. Um, So again, it might be something that has to do with your ultimate goal, but it could also just be something that brings you joy. So for me, it's mala making. For you, it might be picture taking. It might be a small project around the house, a small renovation. Um, It might be reorganizing your home. You might start a new exercise program. You might try a new course online whatever it is something that you are interested in just for you in building these skills and by exploring the world as much as you can you're going to learn more so even though it may not seem like something that's going to directly benefit you or push you towards your ultimate goal it's something that's going to give you experience and new skills and new tools that you never know when those might come in handy, whether for this goal or a goal in the future. And happiness <laughs> always is nice, bringing joy into your life. So even if all that your small win brings you is joy and happiness, then you're good. So to wrap up, if you're having issues with confidence or motivation and you just don't really know what to do next, start with a small win. So again, it might be a goal post towards your bigger goal so break your goal down into really small pieces that you can achieve in a moment or in a day it doesn't take you a long time to do it so you can tick it off celebrate a little piece of that goal or maybe you just try something that brings you joy and if you're totally not on board yet with this idea think back to when you've achieved something anything it didn't have it doesn't have to be something big um for me I think back and I ran a half marathon um quite a few years ago now but that's something I'm really proud of and I did it and it took time to do the training but I signed up I did the training I had race day and it was done so I had my goals little goal posts along the way with that as well so every time like pretty much every Sunday when we ran a long run was like the longest I'd ever run so that was a small victory it was something to celebrate So whatever you're working towards, take those moments to find your small wins, to celebrate, to find joy, 
and that will honestly help you and help you move forward so whether you put that big goal on pause and just work on celebrating some small wins try to find some things in your life that bring you joy and then go back to that bigger goal once again that might be something as well that really helps to bring some motivation and some confidence back going in with that boost of energy and that boost of joy to really tackle that bigger bigger goal that you have honestly small wins all the way i'm already have two this week i'm really excited about some of my cooking and my mallow making i'm really excited to see what else this week has to bring it's only tuesday that i'm recording this so we'll have to see how it goes at the end of the week um but make sure you share with me down below um small wins that you've had in the past something that you really really want to do that would bring you joy and of course if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to get alerts for new videos as they come out and you'll find more info in the description and how to connect with me on social media and how to support me if you love my videos have an awesome rest of your day and until next time namaste